All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G here bringing you something a little different today. We're taking a look at Satisfactory, which just released today. Uh, we're going to go over some basic building tips uh, for this game. Um, this is going to be the starting location where you're going to start out in the game, and it's a decent one. You've got a decent amount of biomass over here. You've got quite a few nodes uh, of iron. You can see each of these areas here where the iron spirals out there. That's going to be a node. Uh, when you get to it, you're going to get up to hub level 3. You're going to be able to unlock uh, mining units. And we're going to talk about some different ways you can set those up. So some of the things you're really going to want to get going right off the bat. You're going to want to get an iron mine going. You're going to want to attach that to a smelter. And then you can attach those to constructors. Uh, and then this unit right here is a storage unit. That's about the basic building chain you can get in Satisfactory. Produce the good refine the good and construct it into something else um, you can get more complicated we can actually have machines that take devices from two constructors uh, and then turn them into more complicated parts right over here we've got an example of one of the most efficient ways you can do uh, iron it's not quite finished yet we're going to do actually two different parts here so let's take a look we've got one iron mine which is then hitting a splitter and it's feeding into three smelters. Uh, damage deficit to <laughs> property detected. There is fall damage in this game. So as you get higher up, you're going to be able to do a splitter. And uh, you can produce enough iron from one mine that three smelters can then take that and produce it right into uh, usable iron. Fun thing, you can grab iron right off the conveyor belts. Uh, so even though you're setting up all this factory stuff, let's say you need a raw good... You're able to go ahead and grab this. So here we're going to be making iron bars. And then we're going to be sending it over to this particular constructor. Uh, and we can configure this one uh, to make uh, get a second unit here and make uh, more complicated tools. All right, let's take a peek uh, at some of the power system we have going on here. Uh, I was doing this co-op with my friend Grave Lurker here before uh, Free Weekend ran out. It looks like it just left his character sitting right here so until he gets back uh looks like we're not going to be uh building anything else uh, so one of the things that you're going to want to do with energy is you're going to want to make sure uh, all of your generators off of your hub go to one power pylon that way that power pylon is receiving all the energy you can make and then you're going to want to go ahead and move electricity off from that pylon it will make your life much easier uh, another thing you're gonna want to get up is you're gonna want to get a workshop going right away because these allow us to build well more advanced things as we get going um, but it also allows you to build portable miner which is really handy early tool uh, to get going to get mining you can take these and you can drop these all over the place uh, to get resources uh, before you get the automated miner like we have set up there they'll mine up to 100 of a resource for you uh, another thing that you're going to want is you're going to want to get uh, copper, which we need to get stored here. So we've got raw copper coming from up here. And you're going to notice you can take the conveyor belts over just about anything. It's a pretty forgiving system, so we're able to come right off the cliff here. Um, this is also the starting location. What you get, you can see we uh, are able to get orders of things in from space as well. Stone exchange concluded. Yep. Exit freighter re-entry complete. Thank you, Exit Freighter. So uh, we're going to be working on the space elevator uh, a little bit later. That's the next thing we're going to be working on for this particular map. And then one of the other things you're going to be using a lot of, uh, if you want your base to look nice and be all level and make it snap too, is you're going to be wanting to do a lot of concrete. So concrete you get from just limestone. How do you detect this stuff? Well, you've got to hit C. And you can score at the beginning of the game you can only really scan for like iron and then you unlock copper and then you unlock uh, limestone soon we'll be able to unlock other things like coal to make it easier to track those things down as well so here's the hub you can see it's probably a lot bigger than the one that you first start out with but it can get even bigger uh, than this so we've got like a living area here we've got a research area called the MAM uh, and this is going to continue to expand as we grow our base. We've got a personal storage locker. I need to move all this stuff out. It needs to just be for tools because we're adding storage containers like this one you see here. Okay. 
Let's take a peek inside the hub. So right now, where the game's at, the hub has three tiers. So we've upgraded through tier zero with hub upgrade one is the one you start with. Hub upgrade two. Hub upgrade three here. And hub upgrade four, which uh, unlocks uh, the mining unit that we were showing you earlier. Get these as soon as you can. And then the last hub upgrade that we were able to get for tier zero, uh, hub upgrade five. We've got the scanner and now we need to build we need to build the space elevator. So in tier one, we have things we can unlock. For example, scanners and beacons. We can build walls to make our factory look really nice. And we can even run, we can even run the uh, conveyor belts right through those. Uh, also, we can build uh, jump pads, which are new, which is going to make it easier to just bounce around <laughs> our, our factory, which these look like they're new to me. I didn't see those before. So very cool. Uh, and then we've got a lot of stuff that's just locked behind the space elevator that we need to get that unlocked right now uh, before we can see a whole lot further. Uh, we do have uh, pretty much everything we need though to get started on our base. Uh, one thing to remember, if you're struggling uh, where to put things, you just click uh, right up here. You can even measure efficiency uh, as well. And one of the things you might wanna be crafting is you're gonna be making biofuel um, to get those going. You also use that for the chainsaw. Uh, I'd like to get coal, which is the next thing I need to unlock, which means we need to build the space elevator. All right, guys, that's it for beginner tips for starting out in Satisfactory. I'm going to catch you guys all later. You want to see more of these, let me know. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you want to share how your base is looking, go for it. Be good. Mr. G out.